Hey, yo, what it do, what it do? It's your boy Q, and it's about that time we get down and do what it do. It's our TEC top five from our week one Rocket League action. is feeling some of the pressure especially being 1-0 but there's still three minutes and they have some time to adapt here shadows is going to go for a play but pup is there to stop it oh and a shot from mystic oh. everything happening in front of the net there as shadows able to push it past pup and i mean beautiful pass towards the center of the field pigby can't find and we start off with forest hills versus greensburg central and no we aren't starting off this highlight reel with another pigby clip this is a play that starts with Shadows flipping the pitch on a counterattack. Pup able to get the save, but off the rebound, it's Mystic able to shove it home and tie things up at one. Watch this back, and you'll be able to see it's all set up by Shadows with the second effort. As Pup is looking to send it to the corner where Pig B is set up to take to the sky, the second touch from Shadow leaves the biscuit in front of the basket, and that's good eating right there. the ball and only one found a connection as eventually they at least get cleared out but this one is starting to become at least oh just absolute terror for the side of the Panthers Jefferson Morgan the Rockets are just screaming through five goals in a row long balls does it yet again bottom left corner Now in at that number four spot, it's Franklin Regional versus Jefferson Morgan. And long ball able to take this after the 50, go coast to coast with it, hits JP Yoda with a quick little whoop, and then able to cradle it home, making it look too easy in game number one of their series. They are completely tied up. They've not scored a goal in a long time. And Ben Trafford can take this game from the vice grip of Forest Hills with just one goal. From the possible jaws of defeat, never say die. Ben, go to the backboard! And underneath the crossbar, it's a steal by Ben Trafford. When you take seven shots, one of them gotta go in, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Bend the man, puts one in, and put Now in at number three, we check in on Forest Hills and Penn Trafford. And no, no, still not a pick B clip. This is actually from their D2 matchup. And Ben the man turns on this thing at half field, over strike force, over and past block A, with the double touch looking fancy as Jefferson Morgan goes up with three seconds left on the clock. don't have the energy here as the demo comes out. Yeah, now it's Flavo following the ball, 30 seconds left, finds a touchdown to Shady, pass it, shot in, and California area find themselves a lead in game number three. Wow. What a shot off the back, off the tail of Flavo's car, and Shady reads the pass perfectly. And the number two spot belongs to California area. Playing against Penn Trafford, looking to go up late in game number three, looking for the sweep. Exwabo chasing this thing down in the corner, rising to the heavens and delivering a dime of a pass down to the hood of Shady, drilling it home between two defenders and giving them the lead with 29 seconds to go. Sends it down to the ground, but Pigby, a shot up. It's technically on target. No. Oh, my oh, God. It bounces what? off of the 
right off of the corner. Bigby has the ball in the air. Oh Zero seconds, it's in. Wow. And we head to overtime in game one. Wow, okay, you talk about a savant player. You really meant And our top play from week number one, who else but the man, the myth, the legend, Big B. With the clock at zero, down 3-2 to Greensburg Central in game number one, winning the 50 to send it deep into the offensive zone. Then rising up in the corner, gathering the ball with a second touch, sending it at the back wall, over shadows, and then a third touch to put it past shadows while avoiding the bump and finishing it off with a fourth touch to send it into the back of the net. That's right, a triple tap to follow up a 51 by Pig B with ice in his veins to send game number one to overtime. Absolutely put him on a poster. And while at the wrap on our TEC Rocket League action for the week, make sure you're catching up on all of our week one action on social media as well as on YouTube. And while you're over on YouTube, make sure you're slapping that subscribe button and turning them notifications on. That way we can catch y'all back for weekly TEC content. And so we do catch y'all back for the next one, man. Don't forget, with everything crazy going on in the world today, be true, be you, be sincere, game hard and love hard. All right, y'all? It's your boy Q, signing out. Yo, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Q, and it's about that time we get down and do what it do. We're entering week number two of TEC action. In case you missed week number one or you just want to get caught back up, let's go ahead and take a look at our Power 5 ranking and how all of our top teams fared in our opening week of play. In our Division 1 Valorant action, we saw our number five team, Winber, have a week off. In at number four, Franklin Regional would kick off their season with a 13-3 victory over Richland. Speaking of 13 to threes, that would be the score of Boyertown who were able to bring off their dub over West Green High School in at number three. The Goats from Greater Altoona in at our number two spot as they were able to pull off a dub against Penn Trafford, 13 to two. And in at that number one spot, it's going to be Forest Hills, able to complete the shutout against West Branch, 13 to zero. Sheesh. Now in our division two action, our number five team was able to keep things close in their opening matchup as Hollidaysburg fell eight to 13 to Franklin Regional, who also comes in at that number four spot. The Greater Altoona Goats were able to win big in their opening week by the score of 13 to three and hit that three spot. Black Lick Valley High School dropped a single round on their way to the number two spot. And I know what's better than dropping just one round, it's dropping no rounds. Pulled off by who? Rich what? Rich Lynn coming in at that top spot. Now we did see our Rocket League action kick off and in at that number five spot, it's gonna be Greater Altoona who were able to take down Franklin Regional three to nothing. And at our four spot, that's gonna be Albert Gallatin who were also able to start off their season with a sweep. Boyertown hold it down in that number three spot as they also swept their opponents to start off the season. Our top two teams, however, they would be in a knockout drag them out series that went the distance as California area was able to play this one close, but Forest Hills would be able to repeat their success that they saw during that winter championship in a score of three to two. Now in division two, we saw that Richland started off their season with a dub three to one versus Central Cambria sitting in at that number five spot. California area rolls in at the four spot after a 3-1 series win against Salisbury Elklick. Drifting in at three is going to be West Branch, who was able to take down Brownsville by a score of three to one as well. And Jefferson Morgan started off their season with a sweep as they were able to slide in at that number two spot. And the top dog in D2 belongs to Gaceway, who also started off their season with a sweep. And of course, we can't forget on Wednesdays, we overwatch. In Greater Johnstown, our number five team would be able to go to distance in a banger of a matchup against Ferndale, our number four squad, to start off the season. Penn Trafford were able to start off their season with a 2-0 win over Connellsville, sitting in at number three. Our second place spot belongs to Winbur, who were able to take down Boyertown in just two maps. And Central Cambria would also be able to complete a sweep as they hold it down in the number one spot. Now, unfortunately, due to some server issues, last week's Overwatch action wasn't able to complete as far as Division 2, and games will be rescheduled for later on the season, but Franklin Regional versus Salisbury was the only D2 game that was able to play, and Franklin Regional came to play in their opening week of TEC action. They're going to be my team to watch, but since no other games were played this past weekend, our rankings will stay the same. 
And while the spring split has finally started, we still have plenty of season left to be played over with TEC. But don't forget that we have games every single week, Monday through Thursday on our multiple channels. And we'll be bringing more content than ever with videos like this right here, as well as our top plays each and every week. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, y'all already know the deal. Hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody about it. Until we catch y'all back over here for the next one, man, don't forget with everything crazy going on in the world today, be true, be you, be sincere, game hard and love hard. All right, y'all, it's your boy Q, signing out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the TEC High School Series. We're here for week number two, and we've got some Rocket League action to get to today. We saw some fantastic Valorant and some fantastic Rocket League and other games in the previous week, but now we're here, Hot Sauce, in week number two. Yeah, week number two, Tuesday, is Rocket League. We'll be adding that Rocket League on Thursday for the middle school as well. But, man, do we have a lot of exciting Division One games today. Albert going to be taking on Wimber to start things off. But, man, there are a plethora of top-tier teams that we've got for you today on the mainstream. Got a lot of teams that are going to be battling it out for that championship trophy there for sure at the end of the day. So I'm going to be excited to see kind of how not only these teams have improved over the offseason, but what may be new additions to the roster that we hadn't seen from the previous seasons. It's always nice to see that new talent rising through the ranks and joining up to that D1 squad. But we're talking about the game. Let's get right on into game number one here between Albert Gallagher and Wicker. Yeah, Albert Skeleton, one of these new schools as well. Of course, going at have to go up against Winber, which is another one of these staple teams of tech. We'll see how the offseason has treated them. Nightmare, another name that we're familiar with as well. We see Riot beginning to push down the field. The defense is there. The big booming clear as well. And Mia, going to have a little action down here towards the net, but against the defense standing true. Nightmare Random, both familiar names from that previous season, maybe adding one new player to the roster as well as we get things moving along. Solid base to keep those two members that you mentioned we talked about for a lot of time. Yeah, at that third, you create some control. However, right now, Albert Gallatin is really putting on the pressure. Already three shots to start out this game. They have controlled a majority of this possession to start out as well. Winberg, this is their first field trip down to the offensive end. Let's see if they can capitalize this. 
Now Wimber looking to make some moves here at random with a nice pass into the corner. Nightmare unable to come off there, though. A bit of a double commit in front of the net. Mia will find the stop of all floating high and dry and dangerous territory. Unfortunately, Nightmare not able to get a card to the ball in this situation. We see it float high and dry once more around midfield. Mia with a nice touch off the side wall. Now pushing toward the net. Has one defender to be goes for the knock around. Unfortunately, can't connect with random and we'll see one more counter opportunity. Sack, a lot of back and forth to start out this game, but nobody has found their way to score just yet. Stephen's gonna go for this one right out of the air. It takes the backboard, and it goes all in. First one going down the gallery. Yeah, you know, it's it's great seeing these new schools come in and week one, week two, still being able to perform very well against these schools that have been here for a while. So maybe some team chemistry already built for Albert Gallatin, but uh, again, Winber used to being in this position before. They're still comfortable. It's only down by one, 3.20 on the clock. We'll see if they can settle into that game style they're used to once more. We see him pushing around midfield here, trying to make something happen again as the ball goes down. But you'll wow, fires one a little wide and to the left. And this Albert team seems to be playing very, very well together as Steppen's going to find another. Oh, another on the board, another for Stepan here, and this is just a beautiful passing play. Yulo allows this play to just digress for just a little bit. He says, okay, he, the teammates, you guys can come after me from Winber, but I don't care because I've got a wide open passing lane. That's going to be a second. Albert Gallatin starting to pile on this lead, and after a slow start, their offense now successful on two shots out of five. Two shots out of five have hit the back of the net. They're not done just yet, though. Yulau fires one from nearly midfield random. Has to come up with a big save to keep the team only down by two. Now up into the air, but Stepan will once more find that mid control. Mia trying to gather it up, but unfortunately can't quite do that. There's Stepan again, that third man roll, really keeping the ball alive down here as Mia goes for a secondary attempt. Has help from Yulau, chips over one, looking for the double tap, not quite able to get there in time. Can Mia secure it? No, Nightmare will find the stop and keep the team alive. Of the defense here and the counterattacks have been really good for Winbor. However, Albert Gallatin, you talk about the shot counter, they have absolutely pestered the back of that net, making sure that at every moment Winbor is getting contested. It's really hard when they're just playing confident, playing for these 50 50s, and even going for the back pass to keep that possession in their own. However, this time it is going to be a little bit dangerous. Random's going up towards the sky. Double touch not there for them, but maybe Nightmare got a shot towards the post. But the MVP, that most valuable post, the fourth defender, takes a big chunk of it. That is an unfortunate series of events. Maybe Lemony Snicket's out there overshadowing, but Random had a nice double tap. Unfortunately, couldn't follow through. Nightmare had the wide open net, couldn't capitalize either. And those are the small goals that you have to make sure you take advantage of or they can come back to haunt you. Unfortunately, Winber still unable to get on the board. You allow looking to go up in front of the net. Has a little room to work with a bit of a triple commit here from Winber, and they've got to be careful. Maybe need to work on these communications and these basic fundamentals just a little bit as things have kind of gone to the wayside here in game number one. Still a minute and nine seconds left, though. If they could find a goal here in the next 30 seconds, they can have an opportunity to come back in this one. Very true. I mean, 10 second rule still definitely applying and that demolition might help them out a little bit as well. However, it's going to be a demolition for Albert Gallatin on one of the Wimber members flying this one up to the sky, going for the 50-50 after the play. The confidence you can tell is there from the Albert Gallatin squad and especially like you mentioned, Hot Sauce, for a new school here to come in and do this. They are playing absolutely nothing, holding them back and with 30 seconds left to go, they're going to have a two goal lead. Yeah, really sitting in the driver's seat. And I mean, if you as a new school, this is how you want to come out and start these games off. You know, I'm not sure exactly what they were able to do in week one. But again, to come out this early in the season and put on a nice performance like this really speaks volumes for itself. As we see Mia trying to flick in another shot here near the end. Random will find the save, however. And with that only 10 seconds on the clock, it does look like Albert Gallatin going to take the first one. And man, it just makes me that much more excited as we continuously add more and new schools to the mix and they just continue to uh to not disappoint so a great first game here from albert shows us the talent that is around the world here beautiful beautiful stuff from albert gallatin forcing that own goal there at the end of the game 
Two seconds left to go. Unfortunately, not enough time to score three goals in for Winberg. This one is going to bounce down towards the ground with zeros on it. They're going to play the rules here for as long as possible. Albert Gallatin, though, taking this first game, not letting a single goal in from their opponents is a really, really good start. However, you mentioned Hot Sauce. Winberg, they've been in this position before. They, they know what it's like. They've been here in the TEC series for a long period of time. So this next game could be one they step up in. Yeah, I mean, we see Random and Nightmare nearly with 400 as well, both having four saves, but the problem was the shot column, right? We saw Random get down there with a nice aerial control, couldn't quite finish. We saw the wide open net for Nightmare, uh, which I feel like they should have been credited for at least two shots. They only get one, but, uh, you know, unfortunately unable to capitalize on that wide open net as well. So, you know, still maybe a, you, you've got a new member in the roster. We see the score only a two there. So we got to try to find a way to get Riot a little more involved. Maybe get forward, find a demo, find a bump, help open up that net for your teammates as well. So sometimes, you know, as a new member, it's, all, it's a little harder to get involved. But certainly, you know, don't be afraid. Just get up in there, have a little fun and see what you can uh, create in the mix. Got to see what you can do with all of the players out on the field. The nice thing, at least here in Rocket League, we'll go to this next game. We'll reset those scores back to zero, and Winbur will have a chance to take this next one. I think also the nice thing we talk about is this is a really pivotal game in the series. For for Albert Galton, you could go up 2-0. You could get yourself on series point. For Winbur, though, if you win this one, Hot Sauce, you're, you're back to pretty much a best of three. You're all back to even. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Winber has a chance to kind of nullify what had happened in the previous round here as we look to get that third member in. I'm not sure if maybe they're having a little bit of difficulty here, but right now Winber already playing a, a player down and well, that's not good. Not good, Lava. Looks like they were possibly going for a sub on in. Either way, it's going to be Steppen already going towards the backboard. We saw Steppen be very, very critical in that Albert Gallatin offense in the previous game, scoring two of their three goals. And scoring early was the important thing. The game started slow, but Steppen was able to step up with some of those confidence plays and really create something magical. And they're going to do it once again. It's the whole team, the demo, and Yulo able to take the first goal. Yeah, you know, and, and Mia really has been all over this field. We see the demo coming off the pass play as well. And we often talk about how it's so important to look for that play after the play. Whether you find a shot on goal or a pass to a teammate, as you're circling out on that rotation, look for that bump or that demo, that Ooh. extra play. And well, right now, AGHS certainly doing a phenomenal job of that. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Almost a rule one there, but a little bit too much speed. So that one is going to get broken. But nonetheless, like you said, I, I totally agree. Mia definitely been an absolute destructive force on towards that backboard, making sure every single player feels those bumps, feels those demos, and setting up perfect plays just like this again. It's not only the pass, but forcing that double commit so Stepin can take that extra step forward and take another shot towards the goal. An extra shot indeed. Random with a banger of a defensive block here. Tries to find the counter opportunity now down toward the front of the net once more. Floating high and dry, but fortunately nothing will come of this one. Stepping looking for the clear. Can't quite get the height. Another tactical miss there coming out as Nightmare. Going up looking for something more. Unfortunately can't quite find it. Random. The second chance opportunity. A nice pass in front of the net. Yulau comes out though to find the defensive stop. And AG right now playing at the top of their game. Absolutely are. I mean, they're, they're holding on to this score lead. They're holding on to that shot column. And they are playing fantastic defense as well. Not even really letting Winber get any sort of chances towards the backboard. Mia's going to try and go for the 1v1 play, but Random does read that all the way through. The nice thing here for Winber is you're only down one. And we know a one goal lead, it, it's pretty unstable here in the Rocket League arena. If Winber, if you're able to force a mistake, if you're able to get one more, but this one is just going to be a pass towards midfield and Mia finding a goal. Yeah, I, I, you know, great job again by AG. They're, they find themselves in the right place at the right time. We see a bit of a double commit there in the corner from Winber. Uh, I think, I don't know if that was Steppen. I think it was Steppen able to draw two defenders toward them, leaving that wide open net. And, you know, Mia just absolutely capitalizing on the opportunities in front of them. Really haven't let many opportunities go to the wayside. So AG, again, right now, just playing at the top of the game. And you absolutely love to see it. 
really do. It's also going to be like we talked about. That one goal lead that was a little bit unstable. It's going to be that extra little bit of insurance. Now you've got some extra room to play with. Now you can play a little bit more freely. Don't have to go for a goal every single one of these last seconds of the two minutes and 30. However, half of this game left does mean a shot off the backboard. Does mean some time for Winbird to try and recollect here in the defense. We saw some fantastic counterattacks. I want to see that here again. Fantastic counterattacks indeed. It certainly worked out for him. We'll see if maybe Winberg can channel a little of that for themselves. But right now, Steppen, the aggressor who has been pretty relentless thus far. Yolau looks to pop this one over. A nice takeaway from Random has an opportunity. Riot needing to put this one back in. Unfortunately, can't keep the drive alive. Yolau up top trying to get by one defender. They will find the stop as Mia finds the flick once more. Random able to find the stop again. And really, though, it feels like it's been AG who's been mounting the majority of the pressure here in both game one and two. It really does. Yeah, they've held on to a lot of this possession. They have a lot of the shots there on towards the backboard. You can see eight of them recorded for Albert Gallatin. However, Wimber in this game, they're starting to find their offense. The counterattacks have come through, and the defense has actually done a really good job to shut down some of those passes before they get towards their targets. You got a minute 30. You got some time here. If you can score a goal here very soon, all of a sudden, this game breaks wide open. Yeah, they just need one to get things pumping and thumping here. A minute and 10 is... Time begins to dwindle away. A nice pass off the sideboard. Riot wide open here in the middle. Unfortunately, can't get there in time. Maybe boosting just a hair late. We'll see Random trying to make something happen, but Yolau is already there. We see both of the attackers up in the air. The double commit is there, but it doesn't matter because Yolau will allow it and just beautifully finesse this one in. I love how all the players are in the air. Everybody's saying, you know what? We could all get a touch out of the defense. You'll <laughs> never guess who's going to take this one. So kind of throw the smoke and say, oh, yeah, there's no fire over here. And then just score the goal nice and easy. That's going to be the third one. And the misdirection gives them some extra comfortability. Yeah, extra comfortability indeed. Now up by three with only 45 seconds left. And honestly, Winber needs to find the goal within the next 10. And even then, it's going to be a tough task ahead of them. Unfortunately, the ball will fall once more. Mia. And again, I just feel like AG has done a great job of controlling the ball. They're doing a really good job of controlling not just the ball, but the tempo of the game as well, Lama. I would tend to agree. I think they really have controlled this game. It's not that Winber hasn't had opportunities. It's that Albert Gallatin has had so much control that they haven't given them opportunities. A lot of control over the flow of the game and another great scoreline for Albert Gallatin. However, Winbird, they've got extra 10 seconds here to get some offense going. Random puts a great shot on board that is saved away. 2v1 down the end, and Mia's going to pop it in right at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, from a 3-0 to now a 4-0, AG really hasn't held back. And, they, I mean, they just do a great job of kind of splitting up the defense. They attack the net really, really well. And, uh, you know, when there is an opportunity in front of them, they certainly capitalize. And, Winber, who's done great in the past, struggling a little bit today, but everybody loves a good Cinderella story, and maybe they're just writing up their own little reverse sweep here, Llama. This is very true, and I gotta say, game over game, from game one to game over two, the score lines may not look so good, and the series score line may not look so good, but for Winber, their offense is improving. You're starting to see the counterattacks. You're seeing some of these clears, some of these contests that are starting to really put Albert Gallatin on the back foot. We always talk about it. it's the it's the reverse sweep. It's one of the hardest things to do in all of Rocket League. However, you take this next game hot sauce, then you take the one after, it becomes so easy. Yeah, I mean, that's that's exactly, you know, how we would like it to go, at least if we are a win, but random five saves, though, with a couple shots. So really beginning to step it up there, unfortunately, you know, just not able to get Riot involved yet. And, and as we mentioned, it can be hard as a new player. You're trying to figure out where you fit in the team, what your role should be. But, you know, if you're if you're Riot's teammates, I feel like, hey, man, you just tell them, go out there and have some fun. Try to hit somebody as hard as you can. Try to blow them up. Try to get in your way. If you see the goalie down there, just get in that goal and disrupt them as much as you can and just get in there and kind of throw a wrench in the mix. So, uh, you know, it's up to Wimber as well to kind of pick Riot up here a little bit. Talk to your teammates. You know, we all have bad games from time to time, but you got to lift each other up a little bit, give them some direction and see if we can start to change this around. 
That is what it is all about here, lifting everybody up and having some good games here. And you know what? You and I, Hot Sauce, we will not complain about any more games. We, we want more games. We want as much action as physically possible. So we are definitely Winber fans. We want this one to go to five here and have the best series as possible. We'll see if that offense can continue to improve like it was in game number one and game number two as this one kicks off. Yeah, I will take all the Rocket League I can get from overtimes to extra times, extra innings, whatever you want to call it. We'll take all the free Rocket League we can get. We'll see if Winber is able to muster up a win here and keep this series alive. Stationed on Ryan here around midfield. Nightmare off the sidewall looking for a touch. You allow though, already there at midfield and coming again with that fierceness and a bit of a missed rotation coming out from Winber, leaving that net wide open. Stepping able to find this one. And again, I think we saw Riot there kind of circling out toward that far side. We just need to make sure that we circle back toward that far post and work our way in out from the goal. But as you know, Llama, from that booth, it's much easier said than done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can guarantee you this does definitely not look as easy as the players are making it out to be. And Stepin, once again, I feel like, has just been the GOAT for Albert Gallatin. In game number one and game number three, has stepped up to score first and give them that early lead that they can play a little bit more comfortable. That, Like we said, they don't have to go for every single goal. They can just send their offense to the middle of the field, get some passing going, and now they're leading. But there is still four minutes left on the clock. Yeah, and as we know, four minutes is plenty of time in Rocket League. Random will look to settle this one down. Mia already waiting patiently. And as we talked about, AG's third roll here, uh, whether it's Steppen, whether it's Mia, it doesn't matter. All of them able to come up and fill the third roll. But would you look at that random, making it random from downtown. A long, booming shot. Steppen can't quite get up in time. And just like that, Winber is all tied up, baby. This could be the fire that ignites the flame. I mean, that's not even the $10,000 midfield shot. That's the $100,000 full card shot right there. Lovely stuff to see. And I love to see that Winber, they scored at this moment. They didn't let Albert Gouton start to rack up the scoreboard. They said, we're going to tie up this game. We're going to give ourselves a chance. And now we have the confidence to step up into some of these plays. You're seeing it. Their offense absolutely fiery down the field right across the goal line. The passing play almost works out. Yeah, and it just goes to show you how determined these students are. Down two to nothing in this series can be a tough spot to be in, but not allowing it to affect their mental. Coming out here hungry as ever in game number three and putting on an absolute performance. A bit of a double commit, but they'll find the stop as Mia midfield looks to boom the other direction. Random will settle as Mia continues to find the attack and the pressure. Random able to knock it out to the sideline here. Looking to carry out, though, and... Has some help from Yulo back toward the net, and they're going to thread this one, but the most valuable post comes up one more time. Stefan can't quite knock it down, and Winber stays alive for just a little bit longer, but you mentioned Stefan, and Stefan has been absolutely determined in this series. Absolutely has. Just stealing away all the boost pads, stealing away all the resources from Winber, and then just taking shot after shot, making them use up every single resource they had left. Nice goal there from Albert Gallatin, and it might be another. The crossbar is going to save this one away, and Winber having to get it cleared down the field. This is actually a good opportunity. Only one defender to be back towards the net. Random goes insane. Yeah, random out of here making key moves again. Just a nice flick over the head. Was definitely gone in, but able to follow it on in as well to ensure that tie game two to two at the exact halfway point. And Winber has decided to battle back in this one. Random is not done yet. Woo! Absolute highlight reel. Are you kidding me? The start from Riot. You love to see it. That's the confidence off the kickoff. And then the pickup from Random. The lead for Winber after Steppen had scored a couple. Random. The hats are out in the field. He's got three, and we've still got half this game left to play. A beautiful job by Random. And again, we talk about the determination of not letting to be done. Oh. And look at that. I think the flame has been ignited. I, I think it has. I, I think they poured some gasoline or something on it, man. It is absolutely burning. What a shot as well. That's not an easy one to make. Top left corner to solidify it. 
Talk about solidifying it. It's their lead solidified e even more. Four to two on the score line right now. We still got two minutes left, Hot Sauce. Yeah, you know, I don't know if they popped an energy drink or what happened to awaken the beast, but random has absolutely come alive and has yet to turn it down, which is what you want to see here from Winber. Popping up over middle, Steppen looks to take away Nightmare. Into the corner, we'll see if Random can help kind of ignite the rest of the team as well as Nightmare comes in with a banger of a shot midfield. Now they have to get back in time. Nightmare will do just that. A bit of back and forth as Winber does hold the lead here by two. We're out of the lead, but like we said, there's still some time. And we know at any moment, Albert Gallatin, their offense seems to be getting going. However, Winber, the five shots on this game, four of them have connected when they get possession of the ball, when they get it down the field, and when Random gets a touch on the ball, it just seems to go absolutely golden. However, with Nightmare and Co, they are going to have to play some defense to be one down the field. And left in a situation, Random dodges the buff and gets the clear down the field. Yeah, beautiful save from Random as well, who's just been doing it both on the offensive and defensive side of things. As you'll see in your screen, Random right there, and you'll allow maybe recognizing that Random has become a dangerous unit out here. We'll find the demolition, the car parts exploding everywhere. Now in front of the net, a nice shot. Random able to read this one. Will knock it to the wayside. 45 seconds on the clock. They need to hold strong, but you allow takes it away in front of the net. Random with another beautiful save and Random wanting to take this one and drive it on home. Random absolutely racking up the saves. The defensive touches are beautiful and Nightmare is doing a good job as well. Just keeping that possession, holding on to it and gluing it towards their car, making sure that Albert Gallatin doesn't have a chance here at the end of this game. However, 15 seconds up to go. That is enough time. The 10 second roll here. The offense is going for Albert Gallatin. However, the goal line defense from Winber is just too good. The clears are going down the field. The offense is pushing and Random almost has a bit. The touch is in front of the net. The zero's on the clock and the bounce down towards the ground. That will be it. Winber starting the reverse sweep. Yeah, I mean, Random almost snuck in one right there at the end as well. A nice, beautiful shot. But look at that. Four goals off of five shots and three saves. Nearly a score of one thousand llama we talk about 500 being an amazing feat on its own and random just went out there and took the game in his own hands winber looking to battle back in this one looking to battle back and that they are random like you said the points not only that but I, I mean it's just incredible four goals three saves five shots doing a ton for the team however we saw nightmare and raya both getting involved right especially off those kickoffs was really providing some extra little bit of pressure to start us off now i would like to see winber score first here in this next one I, albert gallatin of course they're still up in the series two to one if they could get that lead back we've seen what they can do when they play from ahead yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. They're they're just a dangerous team. So, Winber, for them to come out and answer like this in Game 3, you know, finally getting some life under their under their tires, so to speak, and, and really just turning and burning with it. So, hopefully they can carry that momentum forward as we talked about. You know, obviously there can only be one winner, but we'd like to squeeze out as much free Rocket League as we can. So, we'll see if Winber can take Game Number 4 and send this one into a best of five. I, I would absolutely love to see a game number five to start us out in the first series of the day, by the way. We'll have to see if it comes down to it. Albert Gautin, like we said, as a reminder, still could win the series off of this one and still are on series point. Winber, though, looking to get themselves on series point off of random, who's had such a fantastic series and starting to go crazy. And there's Riot with a big demo as well. And this is what we absolutely love to see. We're getting Riot more involved now, whether it be on the field with the assists, the kickoffs, whether it be the demos, but certainly getting more involved and helping out the team immensely as Nightmare will come away with another big demo. Unfortunately, I'm not sure where the defense uh, kind of fell apart here, but really just a wide open net. We see Steppen back there as well. So I'm, I'm not sure if Steppen went back there and got a bump or a demo, but man, that was just wide open for him. Well, Steppen goes with a physicality play, and I got to say, Mia, once again, we are talking about them. Well, they're able to find the net once again. Always there, wearing the clutch jeans. 
now they have that lead. It was all the to-do list we talked about for Albert Gallatin to start out this game. They have absolutely checked off that box. However, we saw in the last game, Winber was able to equalize. Winber was right there battling with you right by your side the entire time. You cannot give them any sort of the space. And Nightmare, you can see his playing absolute confidence, stealing away the boost, getting in their faces, and putting a touch almost towards the net. Yeah, random down there as well, trying to work their way into the back of the net. Unfortunately, it doesn't come this time. Mia off the ceiling with a nice shot toward the net as well. The defense will find the stop. Random with a nice subtle touch, a pass to himself. The shot is there, but Stepan able to get back in time and step to that one. Now on the counterattack as well, looking to thread the needle, but Random is already back, finding the defensive stop. And right now, just absolutely everywhere on this pitch. So, uh, I mean, might have duplicated themselves because they are showing themselves. Defense, offense, middle of the field. Talk about the shot, though. Step in, doubles up here. Mia's pass, though. How about that dash, the pause, and then leaves it to the teammate. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's in a situation like this, especially in some lower tier play, you might see them just want to take that shot for themselves. Mia being absolutely selfless there, setting up the perfect shot for Stepan, who, you know, almost never misses when, when given an opportunity like that. So again, AG just stepping up, capitalizing on the plays in front of them. They have a nice solid 2.0 lead. We have seen Winber battle back here in that previous series, but they're gonna have to buckle down and start to do it here soon. Do something here soon. Let's see how it goes. Three minutes left. A nice steal there from Random. But the crossbar eats one alive once again. Random, beautiful shot. Would have loved to have that one back. However, it's these kickoffs. You can see the pressure building already from Winber. Got to get back on the defense here. And a demo from Nightmare might alleviate some of the pressure. However, car parts flying. Stepping, going for the double touch over towards the left post. But the bump is going to do just enough to get this out of danger. Yeah, I think we see AG really just sitting back to their play style. As we know, it can be hard to play consistently for five solid minutes. So after taking those first two games, they maybe stumbled a little bit in game three, but it's right. it seems like they're right back to their old AG self here. Now up two to nothing, a little past halftime as they continue to have their way on the pitch at the moment. Random up top in there, looking to make things happen once more. Nightmare at midfield has to get back, and Random finds the defensive stop again. Random is just absolutely all over this field. It was nice with it, nice defensive touch, but can they turn it up the field is the bigger question. They only have two minutes. It is some time, but you need to start scoring here soon. You don't want to have to wait until the final 30 or 20 seconds to be forced to make a couple of goals. You want to make them now. Mia and co are not giving you any of those opportunities. They're not giving you any of this pressure. And for Albert Gallatin, this hasn't been a game like game one or game two where they just shot a bunch of shots and beat you with efficiency. They only have two shots on the board. It's been their defense in midfield control that's won them this game so far. Yeah, we actually see Winber with more shots this time. Unfortunately, not able to find the back of the net. And it seems like AG is down here with a hammer and a fistful of nails looking to drive them into the coffin. Is stepping on the counter attack here. The booming clear random with an ice flick. Looks to get over the head. Unfortunately, doesn't have the help there just yet. Random around the horn. We'll find the demo and the clear. But you allow will put it back in here in front of the net across and just not enough time to get there, but AG right now playing lights out. They are. We talk about games number one, game number two, where they were able to shut out their opponents. It's looking like that once again. Yolo is going to put one towards the right post, but it's just delaying for more time, more touches that Winber is not going to have on the other side of the field. They need to get it down, and every single time the clear comes through, it is just AG battling in. Mia, the post is going to stop him this time. Stefan's going to be stopped by the post as well, but Winber needs to get out of this defensive half and get some goals. Uh, yeah, AG is, is, not only are they so good on defense, but they're, it's almost effortlessly in their transition from defense to offense. They, they seamlessly get down the field. They're always looking for a teammate as well. Their pass plays are absolutely on point and, and I'm loving this. I mean, to have a new school come in and play this well just really speaks volumes to the competition that continues to grow here for the Tech High School Series. 
almost had that though. The competition is growing. Everybody's improving. And that is what it is all about here. The offense you could tell from Winberg, game over game, match over match. They have improved week after week and they are here to play for this season. But Albert Gallatin, it is going to be their series here today and their game. They may have stumbled in the last one, but 3-1 will be the final score towards them. Yeah, you know, and, and again, in, in all the games that they won here today, they didn't give up a single goal. So, uh, you know, they they did drop game number three, but uh, in all the other games, they they held the team to be scoreless. So it just, it really speaks volumes on how, how easy they transition from that defense to the offense, able to score on minimal shots as well, really taking quality shots and uh, finding some solid crosses in front of the net there uh, from Stepin to Mia, from Mia to Stepin, really, really good give and goes as well. It was really good. I, I mean, I, I think there's big things for both these two teams and a lot of things you can actually take away from both of this for both of these teams that, yes, for Winburn, fortunately, it is a loss, but you showed improvement. And I think the confidence like you were talking about getting it in Riot, who from, from game number one was maybe, you know, sitting back a little bit as you do. You don't want to be the one that makes the mistake. But in game number three and four, they were stepping forward. They were taking kickoffs. They're bumping and demoing people and making sure that their name was known. And for the other side, for Albert Gallatin, like you said, for a new school school that has so much cohesion together that seems like they've been playing together for years and years keep on playing that way yeah yeah they played absolutely beautiful it was a lot of fun to watch ag come out here at least for the first time me casting and see them perform so well and you know wimber they just got to hit that vod review we, you know we always talk about how you're not you're not determined by that loss right it's how you bounce back the following week and and wimber always very dedicated to their craft so i imagine they're going to hit you know, hit those hit those rooms and uh, get as much play time as they can. Watch those VOD reviews and come back even stronger next week. I, I guarantee it. They're going to be improving and they could honestly, again, we, we always talk about Winber. They're always one of the schools in contention for it seems like every single title and every single game. So we'll have to see what they do. But talking about a team that might be in contention for the title, Hot Sauce, we've got a good series coming up next. Oh, uh, well, as you know, you know, I try not to play too much favorites, but we do love California area. My boy, Exuavo with the hair going to be coming up, taking on Laurel Highlands. No easy task, an incredibly talented school as well guys with that being said though we're going to take a short break don't go too far get those snacks get those drinks but when we come back we've got more tec rocket league action awesome 